Welcome to this video, I'm Ingo from Rose Travels and today I will introduce you to Hot Top KN8828 B2K Plus Roaster. Actually it sounds quite complicated, but it's very easy with the Hot Top Roasters. There are two models on the market. One has a plus at the end, that's a bit the newer, the better, the version with artisan connection and there is the other version without the plus at the end. So today I will introduce you to the hot top model with the plus at the end, so with the artisan connection. And in this video I will of course show you some feature, talk a bit about the roaster. I will also give my personal um, idea on for whom this roaster is, is perfectly suited. And then I will show you some advantages, advantages, some disadvantages of the roaster. And at the end, I will show you how to roast with this machine. And we will do a very simple roast together. So the Hot Top Roaster is a electrical drum roaster. It's a roasting machine for about 100 to 300 grams of coffee. And the roast takes about 10 to 15 minutes. This machine is a perfect roaster for home roasters that want to deep dive into roasting, that want to understand profiles, that want that want to develop roast profiles that are really curious about what's happening in a roast and how to affect the taste of a coffee in its roasting procedure. And on the other hand, it's a roaster for people who say, I want to learn roasting, I want to maybe later do professional commercial roasting. And since it is a drum roaster that is working similar to a big production roaster, you can really adapt what you learn on this machine to the larger machine. And in addition to that, it's a perfect profile roaster, which a lot of commercial roasters are using to develop their roast profiles with um, about 250 grams of coffee. So since it's measuring the bean temperature, since it's working with convection and conduction heat, and um, since it's a drum roaster that is actually quite similar in its construction, like a big production roaster, it works very well as a profile roaster. So let's have a look at the roaster. So this here is the roasting chamber. This is the place where all the magic is happening. So if you have a look at the front of your roaster, you can see the roast drum, which is um, evenly rotating in order to provide an even roast on all sides of your beans. And here the cooler, which cools the beans in about four minu minutes to room temperature. And in addition also, the little drawer for the chaffs, which you should empty after each roast. The machine has two filters, one rear filter and here is a top filter, which re reduces the smoke that is pr produced during the roast. So if you have a look at the back of the roaster, you can see here the vent of the roaster. You can see the rear filter. And actually this part is very simple to open. So I would recommend maybe like every um, six months to open it and clean it since there will be some chaffs hanging around here. And here you find a safety knob and if anything happens you can always tear this knob and then the beans are getting out of the roaster. And um, I never had any problems with the roaster and neither had any, any roaster that I know. Nevertheless, this is a safety feature from Hot Top which helps you to just um, take all the beans out of the roaster if you need to. So when you receive your roaster, it comes with a funnel with which you can easily put in the beans to your roaster. It comes with a spare filter with the owner's manual and also with a USB cable with which you can connect the roaster directly with your PC or your Mac. What I like about the roaster is that it is very easy to use. You can do a, an automatic simple roast if you're a complete beginner and you can grow with the machine and take over full manual control and really develop profiles very precisely. So the profiles are very precise, repeatable, you get always the same roast profiles if you're roasting always the same or you can adapt the roast profiles and really develop what's, uh, the flavors that are in the beans. In addition to that, it's a very robust model. It's been on the market since more than 10 years and has always been further developed. 
you get all the spare parts for each roasting machine from hot top that ever existed and you can always upgrade the machines to the newest version so you can really grow with the machine what i also like about the machine is that the cracks so first crack and second crack are very great to hear and with the big window that it has you can also really have a nice view on the bean have a nice view on the roast how it develops so you can really like take all the sensory skills to to develop your roasts but if you want and I also recommend it to you you can connect your roaster to artisan where you then have the full control on the roast the rate of rise roast development time percentage and all of these factors are calculated in real time so you can take really a precise control on your roast and in addition to that you can also control the roaster from artisan and also program it so that you have very precise and and repeatable automatic roasts if you do automatic roasts there is also a setting inside of the roaster but um, this in my opinion doesn't work too great so i really re recommend if you do automatic roasts to use the artisan software for this so when you buy a hot top roast there are also some points that you have to have a look at um, on one hand there is no dryer in the roaster some people are saying it's missing a dryer but uh, me personally i don't think that it's really missing and i explain you in a second why but maybe to understand what it's all about so if you have a big commercial roaster and usually a very, a very small window to, to view the roast and there you have this dryer where you can take out some beans during the roast process and check on how the roast is developing. Hot Top doesn't have this dryer, but in fact the window is very large, so you can really well see the roast. You can always smell, since it's compact construction, um, the development of the roast. So you have all the, the sensory points to, to measure the development of the roast. And in addition to that, I would even not recommend to use a dryer in a small roaster like this, because if you imagine with a big five kilo or 12 kilo roaster, if you take out the dryer, take out a little bit of energy, it doesn't affect the roast too much. In a small machine like this, if you take out some energy with the dryer, then there is quite some energy released out of the drum, which can affect the roast. So in that perspective, even if it had a dryer, I would recommend you still to use the window and um, take a smell here to, to see the roast process. In addition to that, what you have to know about the roaster is that uh, after roast it always cools down on below of 75 degrees and then starts again to heat up. This uh, is said to be a safety feature by Hot Top. In effect, it can be a bit disturbing if you do several roasts one after the other because it takes always about 10 minutes to cool down and heat up again. But luckily, there are some hacks with which you can really shorten the time between the roasts. These hacks uh, I will show in, in some other videos, so check all, out also the channel for other videos where you can find the hacks in order to shorten this time between the roasts. And another thing that you have to be aware of, there is an automatic programmed roast profile in the roaster. You, so as a full beginner, you can just press a button and do a roast. This roast will be okay, but it will not be a great roast. So I really recommend to, as soon as possible, take over manual control on the roaster. You will find some profiles on our website that can help you with the roast profiles. And with these profiles, you will get a much, much better roast than if you do just the automatic roast profile that's inside the roaster. So that's it. Now let's have a look on how the roaster is working. And after that, we will do a very simple roast together. So let's have a look at the control panel of the roaster, which is kind of the brain of the roaster. This you can switch on here. You can connect this panel with your PC or Mac with this USB cable and this lets you um, measure the roast profiles on your PC in Artisan but also control the roaster directly from your computer. So you have here different modes. One is this auto mode where you can directly do an automatic roast you can, but also start your roast in this auto mode and then by changing temperature or fan during the roast, stop the automatic program and take over the manual control of the roast, which is the recommended process that I will show you in another video. But in addition to that, you have here two saved 
profiles. So after a roast, you can choose a profile that you liked and save three of these profiles in your roaster in order to repeat it directly again. Actually, I don't recommend you to make this process in this roaster. If you do a automatic roast and then I recommend you to use artisan software, which is much more precise in order to do an automatic roast. So if we go on here, you can choose the maximum time of roast or also the final temperature. The one that is reached before um, leads to the end of the roast. So either after 80 minutes or at 209 degrees, the roast is ended. This, of course, you can change the settings that you like. If you do an automatic roast, then it's important to put here the correct target temperature setting. If you do a manual roast and you want to decide on yourself when to stop the roast, then I recommend you to do values that are just high enough, not that the roaster ends the program before you actually intend it to. So after you put in your measures, you press on start and the roaster is preheating. So you see it's preheating now. The bean temperature, which is the bit lower probe, is now measuring 19 degrees. The environmental temperature, which is a bit higher, measures now 22 degrees Celsius. The fan is on zero and the heat is on 100. And we just let it go on and then put in our beans at the point where the roaster indicates to do so. So I'm going to prepare now 250 grams of coffee. In this case, it's a yellow bourbon from Brazil. So now at 75 degrees, you hear a sound, which indicates that the roaster is now ready to start and we can now fill in the beans. You can see now how the beans are rotated all the time during the roast in order that you get an even roast and they are roasted on all sides evenly. So now you can see how the pan looks like during the roast. So here, 12 minutes, this is the remaining time of the roast. This you can always change during your roast by just turning this knob. Then here is the target temperature at 204 degrees bean temperature, the roast would end. This can also be changed just by turning this knob here. Then here in pink is the bean temperature, which is now at 129 degrees Celsius. Below is the environmental temperature, which is now at 169 Celsius. And here on the bottom, you can see the fan, which is now on zero. The fan can easily be controlled by this knob in 10 steps. You can maybe also hear on the video the vent. And here the heat can be controlled in 100 steps, also just by turning this knob. And here on the left you have this eject button, where you can always, at the, the point where you want, just stop the roast. You can see how the beans already changed their color. They started to be green light green and now they're already quite brown like hazelnut and they're going further in the direction of the so-called first crack. So now we are around 180 degrees and you can already hear the first crack which is sounding a little bit like popcorn. You can see how during first cracks the beans are getting much larger in a quite short period of time.
when the roaster reached 206 degrees, as we've preset, the roasting has been ended and the beans have been put out of the chamber and are now being cooled. In about four minutes they will be cool and ready to drink. That's it. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you want to know more about the roaster, then also go to the other videos in this channel. You can also follow our channel in order not to miss any news, any new videos. And if you have any more questions, then I always look forward to hearing from you. You find my contacts directly on roastrebels.com.